Hi guys, it's Alice here in New York City. We're at Makeup Forever Studio today. And as a makeup artist, I find that it's really hard to do my own makeup because I just don't think of myself creatively like I do when I'm working on models. Now, I'm not wearing any makeup today because I brought with me my friend, amazing educator and makeup expert, Orlando Santiago. All right, well, as you know, it's that time of year, Valentine's Day. So my job and my purpose here today is to take you through a step-by-step -step makeup tutorial that will guide you so that you can look your best for that day. Oh, sounds great and perfect. Let's go. Let's go. All right, now we're gonna start with the eyes. And I'm using a water-resistant slash waterproof uh, cream. Um, that I know will last all day. What I'm going to start off with is just, just to get a little highlight on the lid. And this is the Aqua Cream by Makeup Forever. It's an amazing product. And I'm just placing this in the center of the eye and just kind of slightly, just ever so slightly, just taking it up because I also kind of want to highlight the brow. But I want it to look effortless. I don't want it to look like it's a shimmer brow. Good. So now to kind of reinforce that, what I will do is add just a little bit of a shadow, very similar in color. A powder shadow, yeah, because cream. that's cream. Okay. So powder will stick to the cream. So I'm just going to go ahead and use very similar color. Just reinforcing, literally just going right back over it. So what it will do is, because it's layered, now you know that for sure that this eyeshadow will not move. It's two, two layers of one is a cream, one is a powder. And it's very easy, it's just one over the other, that's it. I want it to be somewhat neutral just because I'm gonna go in later with a thicker, darker liner and make it more about the, the flirtatious lashes versus the eyeshadow. So the next thing is uh, Aqua Black Eyeliner from Makeup Forever, it's a really good eyeliner, uh, very water resistant, but it goes on, it glides on, this is why I love it so much. And what I'm gonna do is start from the very inner corner and just sweep it all the way across. All right, I'm gonna actually raise it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna make my little angle and just kind of sweep it inward. So see that, I have like a nice little angle there and just fill in the rust. I'm raising it up just a little bit and I'm sweeping it in. So in other words, you're somewhat getting a cat eye effect, which is beautiful. And make sure you go all the way to the lash line, inside the lashes and just a little bit under the lashes just to make it all really, really dark. All right, let's see. Great. So what this liner technique does, it just basically, uh, it gives it shape, uh, of course, but it also creates a platform for, say, individual or false lashes that you're applying later. Next is basically, I'm going, still with the eye, I'm actually going to go back in with the eyeshadow, a neutral, maybe soft taupe, and I'm actually going to just sculpt. Oh, so this is what you meant by setting a platform for... Right, so every product sets itself up for the next thing. So from the eye makeup on the top, then the lining to create the shape, and now I'm going back in and kind of finishing off that shape. Just playing with the texture, highlight, and shadow. So what I'm doing is going in your crease and just kind of swirling it around just to add a little bit of depth. So there's a little bit of contrast, but they're all neutral colors, so it's not like it's gonna to be too bold or too strong for you. Very easy to do, and this is basically like a neutral taupe. And I'm just kind of sweeping it into the lid itself open. Beautiful. Again, because the eye is a, a huge focus, um, I'm actually going to work the concealer pencil inside the eye just a little bit more. Just kind of open up the eye and it helps to brighten it up. Now we're going to go into lashes. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to curl them. So what I will do is I'll curl the lashes. Make sure to not clamp your own lashes inside the curlers. Just make sure you kind of pull them out a little further enough just to get that curl. There you go. See the difference in one and the other? It's just nice and it has that beautiful shape to it. And I'm going to use my fabulous mascara. So what I'm going to do now is actually just kind of work from root to tip. And because this brush is amazing and it kind of pulls all the hairs out, not literally, it just helps to extend and coat them. It will literally paint pretty much each hair and just kind of coat it out. And I can also extend it, creating more volume and length which is beautiful. So you have to make sure that you create that volume and length prior to putting on your false lashes if you choose to put some, because it's kind of hard to go back and repaint them once the lashes are on. Now what I'm doing again is just gonna drop it Again, sitting it right on top of your natural lash line. 
the easiest way to remember exactly where, how and where to place it is that, remember that liner that we did earlier? Mm -hmm. That actually is really just to also hide the glue and where the placement is. So you don't have to really freak out or worry about where it's going because the, that black liner, because it's so dark, will actually hide the glue once it's dry. So what I'm gonna do now is sculpt. I'm gonna sculpt your cheeks and sculpt and highlight just a little bit. Something that every woman can do. I mean, it's just, it takes about, you know, a few seconds, but it, what's really key about this is just choosing the right brush. Something that you can actually um, work into your makeup. This is a smaller brush. Yeah, it's Again, tiny. I work with smaller brushes simply because they're easier to control. And what you want to do is say, for example, in here you want to maybe use a little bit of contour for the nose. Just come right into the crease and straight down. And straight down. All right, so now same thing. Easiest thing with the cheekbone is you can just create an O. O. There you go. So once you create that, what it does, it kind of pulls out your cheekbone a little bit and just stay right underneath the cheekbone and work your way up to the highlight point. So what it does, it helps to reshape and give you cheekbones where necessarily you wouldn't have any. It's sculpting the cheek, but it's also giving it a little bit of color, which is beautiful. But now that I've contoured your cheekbone and made it a little bit more hollow, I'm actually going to go back with a highlight that I can kind of place so that I have that uh, reflective light quality to it, which is beautiful. So what I'm doing is just going on all the highlight and I'm going to go ahead and press it out with a sponge and just kind of work it into the skin. So again, I'm just highlighting that the highest point of the cheekbone, but then I'm going back and kind of just blending it out. Bridge of the nose, the other side. I wouldn't want to do the forehead so much because that tends to translate as sweaty, mm -hmm. right? So we want to maybe keep that a little bit more matte, but the chin area is also really pretty. That's all, one of the highest points, right? Which is beautiful. There you go. That's just highlight and contour, but we haven't actually applied a color on your cheeks yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix these two products together so that one is not more dominant than the other. Okay. This is a pearl, this is a gold, but if you mix them together, it becomes very champagne. Mm -hmm. and it's very luxurious and very beautiful. So I'm gonna spray the first one. This is uh, basically Hampton Sun. It's like a setting spray that has a beautiful like shimmer to it, but it's not overly done. It's actually really well balanced. So I'm gonna lightly mist. Okay, and I feel like I'm just gonna go back over that one. Watch the hair <laughs> with the silver. So now I'm going with a translucent powder and that's the reason why I didn't do it before is because I knew I was going to have a spray that was going to illuminate the whole entire face. But, but because there are certain areas such as the T-zone that don't look good, now I'm actually going to go back in and take some of that shine out. So that leaving all the other areas behind that look really good. For example, the forehead and underneath your cheek, cheekbone. So basically, in essence, what it looks like is basically the, the highest point of your cheekbone, but underneath stays nice and matte, also the sides of the face. And again, the translucent powder will pick it up really nicely. Now we're moving on to cheeks. All right, again, keep in mind, it is Valentine's Day. However, it's also in, uh, we're still in the wintertime. So to have nice pink rosy cheeks is still kind of very in. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this Kumiko brush, um, which is a blush, but it's actually really cute because I can actually just focus on the apple of the cheek, just like so. And then I can go ahead and brush it out just to excess of it. So it deposits a beautiful, natural looking, very winter wonderland kind of blush. Natural rosiness, there you go. And now we're moving to lips. Lips are key. You wanna definitely make sure, especially cause it's winter time, but mm -hmm. also, uh, that you don't have chapped lips. And if you do, you may want to exfoliate uh, quickly before applying any lip products because it will absorb all the moisture from the lips. I'm actually putting something like a lip primer now just to kind of hydrate them. Again, prepping the lips so that it doesn't absorb too much. All right, so what I'm doing now is I want to definitely get a good lip definition. I want to get a good lip shape. Here's where you can have a little bit more fun. For those of you who don't have uh, super, you know, pouty or big lips, here's where you can create magic and get the shape, lip shape that you've always wanted without having to do any surgery. Um, you can actually just be a little bit more creative, especially with red though, you have to make sure that your lines are perfect and very symmetrical only because it brings a lot of attention to your lips. What I'm doing now is just creating a beautiful shape. She has a great shape already, 
but I'm just making it much more defined. And I tend to like to fill it in just a little bit. Now, a really easy way of applying the lip and getting it to be symmetrical is actually filling in the top lip somewhat all the way, just as much as you can. But then what you're gonna do is close your lips and roll them. There you go. So what you do is you find out that, there you go, they have the exact same shape that you need to apply it in the bottom, and it actually helps with lining the bottom just as much. Lips close and smile. And you wanna make sure definitely to connect the corners. Beautiful, but that's just a liner. So we need to actually fill it up with product. Get that lip going, right? Make it sexy and pretty. What I'm gonna do now is add a lip stain and Kumiko has an amazing lip stain that I truly love. But what you have to do is you have to apply it and then you have to kind of sit back and wait for it to dry and absorb into the skin. And this is so that obviously that, you know, if you're, if you're going out to dinner and you guys are gonna be eating, you don't want your lipstick, you don't wanna to have to reapply lipstick or, or, you know, your lip products over and over again. So with this lip stain, which is amazing, what it does, it would actually stain your lips so that even when you are eating and you know, the lip color doesn't disappear on you and just keep moving it around the lip. The more you apply, the more intensity you'll get with the color. See, and that's also the balance. Here's the focus now. And with everything else is very soft and natural and kind of neutral as well. With neutral, such as the black liner, but nothing really contrasts or nothing's really competing against that red lip. That will be your staple signature look for that day. I'm actually gonna apply it, same thing, so there's two sides. One side is where the lip stain was applied, and the other side is basically, this part is all full of collagen, which is amazing because that's what every girl wants. So what you're gonna do is basically apply the collagen, right, I would say, obviously, in the areas of the lip. You have to make sure it's dry, but just apply some of that collagen. It's so full of collagen, by the way. So just apply it in the center and top and bottom. So now you'll have that pouty, collagen-filled lip. That's gorgeous. Now I'm gonna throw just a beautiful, softer lip color just in the center. Lips closed and smile. There you go. And I'm applying a softer, high gloss right in the center. So these are some, some serious stop me lips. You know, you're gonna stop everybody in the street, which is amazing. And that's the day to do it. The last thing as a technique, just because red is so intense, you wanna make sure that all your lines and everything is symmetrical. So what you can do to kind of erase any mistakes that you've done, you can go back to that same pencil we used in the eye, which is in Makeup Forever's concealing pencil. And you can go back in and kind of erase your mistakes, if there are any. So you can get a good shape. Because like I said earlier, a red lip is very easy to spot if there are some mistakes or if it's just not symmetrical. Or you kind of reshape the lip so it looks crisp. And just to finish up, I'm gonna use a powder once again just to make sure that she's matte in all the areas that she needs to be matte. And also I wanna set that concealer pencil just enough. And now we're gonna finish off with something to continue to hold that in place, and with his, which is a finishing spray. And just lightly mist it. What that spray will do would help to lock in all the makeup and kind of help it not to move or shift throughout the day. Looks great. We had an awesome time at Makeup Forever today. And thank you so much for coming out, Orlando. Thank you. Thank you did you. an amazing job on my makeup. I love it. I'm thank definitely you. gonna recreate this. <laughs> Good. <laughs> If you want to find out about the products, we left all the links below. And if you have any questions, any questions at all for Orlando or myself, please leave it in the comments and we'll get right back to you. Don't forget, like my video and subscribe and we'll see you next time.